Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. The media that promoted the hoax originally generated by the Hillary Clinton presidential campaign and the Democratic Party are in full denial mode. They don't merely ignore their role, they defend it. Jake Tapper is unaware of any mistakes that his employer, CNN, made in its coverage. A 47-second video. Tweets. He wants it released, but I'm not sure what you're saying the media got wrong. But the media reported what, what the investigation was going on. The, I, I, other than the people in the media on the left, not on this network, I don't know anybody who got anything wrong. We didn't say that there was conspiracy. We said that Mueller was investigating conspiracy. But that's fine. That, that's, if that's your recollection of history, that's great. Face it. Come on, the media got this wrong, Jake. It's okay. People get stuff wrong all of the time, just not at this level. Uh, but it's done now. The report is there. It's extraordinarily thorough, as you know. I think they, what, they uh, talked to 500 people, issued 2,800 subpoenas, um, and it completely exonerates the president. There's no collusion. There's no obstruction of well, justice. Uh, have you it's read exactly the Mueller report? what the president said it was. No, I, neither have you. I've read the no. bar summary, which is what everybody else has read. I, I, His CNN colleague Brian Stelter goes one step farther and takes the offensive, invoking the twin demons of the left's worldview, Donald Trump and Fox News. W.N. Trump tweeted something that had appeared on FNC, why, that is reason to dismiss it. This is a five-minute video, but the meat is this, President Trump right now is celebrating Robert Mueller's no collusion conclusion. He's celebrating by condemning the press. He's repeating a Fox News talking point. You can see it here. Faith he says. But the papers were actually honored for covering Russia's real 2016 attack against the U.S. election and for covering Trump's connections to all that was real news. Hey, I'm Brian Stelter. It's time for Reliable Sources, our weekly look at the story behind the story of how the media really works, how the news gets made, and how all of us can help make it better. A lot ahead this hour, looking at the post muller media landscape. Right-wing outlets are warning about the border. Left-wing outlets are more worried about health care. We'll tackle all of that coming up. Plus, a fresh face on the campaign trail with Mayor Pete Buttigieg standing out from the 2020 pack. His top communications advisor will join me live to talk media strategy. And later, a big announcement uh, being broken here on Reliable Sources from one of America's best-known foundations. It's a local news rescue mission coming up. But first, President Trump right now celebrating Robert Mueller's no collusion conclusion. He's celebrating by condemning the press. He's repeating a Fox News talking point. You can see it right here. It says the New York Times and the Washington Post's Pulitzer Prizes for Russia coverage should be taken away. Fake, he says. But the papers were actually honored for covering Russia's real 2016 attack against the U.S. election and for covering Trump world's connections to Russia. All of that was real news. But... There's also been an enormous amount of speculation in the past two and a half years about collusion and even worse. There has been a reckoning in the past week about the media's coverage of these issues. And yet, we're still kind of in the dark. I mean, let's remember that headline right there. The Mueller report is more than 300 pages long. So far, we've only seen 101 words. So there's a lot to dissect. And I want to Meanwhile, a grown-up who lives on the left, Stephen Cohen, takes a sober look at the real costs of the hoax in the nation, the left-wing magazine for which he has written for years. Cohen is an emeritus professor at Princeton, where he was a well-known and respected scholar of Russia. Cohen has been a sober voice throughout the hoax, while anchored in the reality of the ways that nation operates. His thoughtful assessment is worth reading in full. But here are the major points he makes. Cohen is absolutely correct. This is a costly scandal, a scam that can be laid at the feet of the Democrats and their media adjuncts. Fortunately, we have a president who will ignore the advice of Karl Rove to move on. His position that he hits back harder will unfold in the coming months. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.